My name is Omar Mansour Ansari. I'm full-time president of Tech Nation and uh, I volunteer as a board member and vice chair of the Internet Society of Afghanistan and I'm the IGF Afghanistan coordinator. There were quite a few challenges Afghanistan uh, have been facing. Number one, it's a landlocked country. We do not have uh, direct access to submarine fiber. Uh, internet cost is uh, quite high in Afghanistan. Another issue is education is quite um, a challenge for the Afghan citizens. Uh, insecurity uh, in lack of information, uh, lack of access to the services. Uh, these are some of the uh, challenges uh, the Afghans face. My name is Nasrat Khalid, I'm an innovation activist. I joined IGF Afghanistan as an organizer uh, because I believe this is the platform that could be used uh, in order to make people understand. I feel like the biggest issue that we have in Afghanistan is that people really don't understand uh, how the internet is uh, being governed and the different aspects that connect each other to give you the internet that you have. And that could be the first step in order to get um, better internet access to the people of Afghanistan in order to innovate uh, and help the uh, economy and the people. My name is Marilyn Cade. I own a small international consulting business that focuses on working with the ICT sector all around the world. The single biggest threat to the internet is actually the end user. Most people think the single biggest threat is government control. But the internet is such a powerful medium of communication and access to information that users are going to ensure that the majority of governments want to keep the internet open, accessible, reliant, stable, resilient. But users have to get the skills to be able to take advantage to live in the digitized world. IGF Afghanistan had multiple sessions on various issues, including the internet infrastructure or critical infrastructure, on technologies that are utilized for the internet education, uh, healthcare, and agriculture, uh, and, uh, and also cybersecurity. This is Maria Lai Wafa. I'm the former Director General of Information System Security at Ministry of Communication and IT, currently the CEO of uh, Netlinks. Cybersecurity is the most challenging topic all over the world. Uh, specifically talking or speaking in the context of Afghanistan, uh, the government has managed to do certain activities in the field, but this is not enough. The cybersecurity activity is uh, it's, uh, it's a set of collaboration. Uh, the government needs to talk to the ICT communities, uh, to the academia, and build a multi-stakeholder community and uh, come up with some solutions. And uh, as long as we have technology, threats will be always there. And we cannot just say like, okay, the risk is involved and we skip this technology. We, will, we need to proceed with the technology, but we need to have some policies, regulations, uh, standards, uh, in order to make sure that the risk associated with the technology is mitigated. I'm Shabana Mansuri, co-founder of Tech for in Afghanistan. ICT is very important and not only for Afghanistan but regionally and globally. Women can play a significant role to Afghanistan development or showing a positive picture of the country and also to their contribution to regional and international uh, initiatives and programs. I will try to expand the number of participation of women to the IG, they need to have a um, key role in showing contribution in ICT sector as well. My name is Emal Marjan and I am the former IT Deputy Minister for the Ministry of Communication IT. I'm pleased to be at the IGF uh, Afghanistan. This is the first Internet Governance forum, forum in the country. Um, we are trying to be part of the global uh, vision and global uh, journey towards the governance of Internet. We have an Internet which is growing day by day. Uh, the Afghans are getting connected to Internet. They are using Internet in different capacities. So in such circumstances, you should have uh, a fairly good management and governance 
for this uh, sector because you have to uh, safeguard the rights of the consumers, you have to encourage the private sector to bring in new services and provide uh, access to all Afghans living in different parts of the country. This IGF Afghanistan for a first IGF at a national level exceeded all of my expectations and I hope everyone who participated knows what an absolutely wonderful, wonderful contribution it is both to Afghanistan but globally. You are going to have inspired countries that they can do this as well.